Hello, Coyotes. It's my pleasure to share some highlights of the recently completed academic year. We all know COVID-19 dominated the headlines around the world. I'm extremely proud of how our faculty, staff, students, and alumni responded during the pandemic. However, our year was so much more than COVID. It was a year of successes and one of new happenings. The best example of that is behind me, where the construction continues on the new Nursing Education Center. We remain on pace for a January opening and are currently looking at a possible February ceremony that will allow all of us to celebrate this new facility. We're so excited about this opportunity for our nursing students, as well as for the fact that it's our first new academic building in 50 years. Starting this construction wasn't the only capital improvement we've been making on campus. The steps of Pioneer Hall have been redone, multiple roofs were replaced, and Peter Science Hall 201 lecture room and lobby were renovated. We're excited to unveil all of these to students when they return in August. We had a great deal of success in academic disciplines this year. Our DECA business team, under the leadership of two-time graduate Briley New, dominated the state meet once again and was in position to send multiple people to nationals. Debate and forensics continued to show excellence at regional and national events, and the music department hosted a phenomenal set of concerts, including the much-beloved Christmas by Candlelight. Our yearbook staff, led by student Cassidy Moreland, earned three awards at the state level, and I know that we had numerous students, including Cassidy, who landed great jobs, internships, and graduate school seats. All told, we've posted a 99% placement rate in each of the past three years. Our athletic programs, under the leadership of new athletic director Steve Wilson, continued to flourish this past year. Football made its second straight appearance in the NEIA playoffs and hosted two games at home once again, while women's basketball won the KCAC regular season title outright for the first time in school history. Women's basketball coach Ryan Showman, a Kansas Wesleyan alumnus, became the winningest coach in women's basketball history. I'm extremely pleased to share that KW finished third in the NEIA for the third year in a row in student athlete community service hours. I couldn't be more proud to see how our student athletes succeed, not only on the fields of play and in the classroom, but in the community as well. There have been a number of highs and lows this academic year, but like it has throughout its history, KWU showed its strength and continued to flourish. Victory, not without toil. We reinforced our belief in an inclusive environment where all are welcome and all are equal, and our commitment to the ideals of social justice and equity for everyone. Now we look to the future. As we go into the new academic year, it's more important than ever to support Kansas Wesleyan. Whether it's a monetary gift, serving as a host family, or giving back in other ways, there are many different avenues to support KDUB. I hope you'll explore those during the coming year. I wish you and yours well and thank you for being a member of the Kansas Wesleyan family. Hope to see you on campus in the coming year. Thank you and go Yotes.